hey you, the chosen one, the deliverer of your family. If you grew weary in this battle that we were just fighting, know that God is recommissioning us. He's recommissioning us if we forgot the purpose and why we were doing this. We're doing this for God's glory, but y'all also know that most of y'all are the deliverers of your family. So whatever God calls you to do, do it. For myself, this has been a trying, I can say the last three years have been very trying for me. But um, in the last year, y'all, in the last year, God was trying to position me to where he wanted me to be at. But I was resisting it <laughs> for a whole year. So he took me through the cycle again. He was like, try again. And, and this refining process, guys, in the refining process, God showed me the purpose in July, whenever I first came into the spirit. But somewhere along the way, I lost my way. And he he did it. He caused all things to work together for his good because it was for deliverance and for my healing. But as I sit here, as today has uh, manifested, and as I went about the day, um, Holy Spirit brought me to the books of Judges, Judges chapter 5. And I'm doing Bible study right now, y'all. Um, I read the King James Version when I do Bible study. King James Version. I have a Bible dictionary. I have an actual dictionary. <laughs> I use my new King James Version as well. And the Lord just, he's been speaking to me. And he just wants you guys to know that if you grew weary during this time during this time frame if you grew weary do not quit don't quit because the lord has restored me within the last four days um i've been waking up at 3 a.m and actually getting up for prayer and worship but he's still restoring me and refining me right now in this process but i want to let y'all know don't grow weary because your family needs you um the other believers in the body of christ needs you as well you are a general in god's army you are a warrior. This is bigger than... You know, we talk about the army. Y'all know I'm in the military. God's army is tougher and stronger than the military. I'm talking about the Marines, the Navy, the army, every branch put together. God's army is tougher and stronger than that. Know that God is using you for a great purpose. And God told me right now, so today I call my little brother. He's number four of the seven kids. And I'm number two. I called him to check on him. And he told me how he got in some trouble recently. And like I kind of broke down because I feel like I failed him. Knowing that it's not true. Because God causes all things to work together for his good. But the Lord started speaking to me right now. And I have a word for y'all. So y'all don't quit. It's going to be from Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 30. Deuteronomy 2 verse 30 and it says and to the Lord has given rest unto your brethren as well as rest well as well as unto you and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God hath given them beyond jo beyond Jordan and then shall ye return every man unto his possessions which I have given you so until your brethren gets rest like God has given you rest you guys are forerunners. Y'all are watchmen on the walls. Y'all are prophets and prophetess. Chosen, called. Until God has given you, your family, your friends, your other brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, the same rest that he has given you right now in this moment. This is rest that we're in right now. This is divine rest. Like This is the rest that God has been trying to give to me since the month of October. And I fought the process. I extended the wilderness. I won't even say I extended the wilderness. I believe God extended my wilderness. He extended it so I can see what people are really going through. Because honestly, I've been through a lot of trauma and stuff growing up. But when I became an adult, I said what I wasn't going to tolerate. I only had one real relationship. And I didn't even count that as a real relationship because I seen stuff that I didn't like. And I was like, I'm gone. And I did it two times. But people are suffering in relationship, in an area of relationship. And God keeps revealing to me over and over again on my timeline. Women that, get, that got shot 11 times from domestic violence. A man, like men and women, like they're hurting each other in these relationships. And because the presence of God is not in these relationships. They are marrying the wrong people. Uh, marriage rates and divorce rates is high everywhere in the world. Because people are getting in relationships without the presence of God. And I know because my mama married somebody and she's still married to him to this day. 20 years later. 
I'm reading the word. I was reading about Deborah. And it said the people were set free because of her. It was 20 years. God showed me that on Christmas too. On Christmas Day, God showed me the purpose of my deliverance was he was trying to show me that he was engaging to me. He was proposing to me. He was trying to marry me for such a time as this. God was trying to marry me for such a time as this. When he was talking about kingdom marriage this whole time, he was talking about the marrying of us, the body of Christ, to him. We are his bride. Don't get lost on the journey, guys. I pray that this word reaches whoever needs it. I'm praying for y'all. I'm contending for y'all because I know y'all praying for me and I'm so thankful. I'm thankful that y'all are praying for me. This battle ain't easy, but it won't always be like this. God said, it won't always be like this. He will perfect that concerning me. And sooner or later, it'll turn in our favor. It's turning around for me. Know that it's turning around, y'all. This situation, whatever you're going through, it's going to turn around for you. God's going to work all things together for the good of those that love him. That are called according to his purpose. I pray that y'all have a blessed night. And I pray that y'all stay strong. Do not grow weary. Be strong and of good courage, Joshua. Be strong and of good courage.